Hi, this is Quad, and in this video, I want to tell you about the CRISPR-Cas9 system. So people today talk about this a lot, and I just want to tell you um, how this came about. Uh, story starts from bacterial genome, and this is a bacterial cell. It turns out that the bacterial genome has a lot of repeated palindromic sequences. It took scientists a while to figure out what these sequences were for. It turns out that the sequences in between these repeats were identical to the sequences of virus. And these sequences were actually the sequences of phages. Phages are viruses that infect bacteria by injecting their genomic sequence. But bacteria has a defense mechanism that uses a protein called Cas9 that checks if any unknown nucleotide sequence matches any of these viral sequences. So this is like bank of potential bad sequences and Cas9 checks if this unknown sequence is found in the bank. If it is, then Cas9 is going to uh, get rid of this sequence. So overall, this is a super smart bacterial immune system. If this bacteria divides, right, then the entire bank of viral uh, potential bad sequence can be copied. And also, as this bacteria gets older, it becomes more mature, this bacteria is going to keep banking all the viruses it encounters. So it's a super cool um, investment that benefits all the progeny of this bacterial cell. Okay, and then the human scientists were clever to use this system. The way they use this system is by basically hijacking this Cas9 protein whose job is to cut genomic sequence, and uh, physically linking this Cas9 protein with a sequence called guide RNA. And they're trying to mimic the system where this is analogous to sequence from this bank, and Cas9 is still the same Cas9. And the scientists modify the actual sequence of the guide RNA. For example, if this is a human genome and they want to uh, cut this sequence out, then scientists match these sequences against these guide RNA sequences so that when there is a match, this is very similar to when there's matching of a bad viral sequence with one of these banked viral sequence. What happens is Cas9 will get rid of this sequence from this human. And uh, this is the basic general structure of this system, but people have been doing lots of cool updates. Now Cas9 can not only cut a chunk of DNA, but they can cut one nucleotide. Cas9 can also not only cut, but add new nucleotides. Cas9 can also not cut and just sit on a genomic region. And when there is specific signal, again designed by scientists, Cas9 can help transcribe the uh, gene around this region. So basically, people are using this system to get to a specific part of a genome and uh, cut it or transcribe it or basically do something about it. Finally, the name CRISPR comes from cluster of regulatory interspersed palindromic repeats. These palindromic repeats are the repeats here that people didn't know what they were for. It's called cluster because there are a bunch of sequences. Regulatory because these sequences in between the potential Viral sequences regulate if Castellan would get rid of an unknown sequence.